after a fear of lung cancer began to overtake him, he finally confided in a friend. I've read so many articles about smoking and lung cancer that I just decided to quit reading. Head knowledge is there. Head knowledge is there. But the wrong action was taken. Just because the head knowledge was there. We all sit in church, we all sit in services, we hear the preaching, we go to Sunday school, we got the Bible theory down. Application is what comes next. So as much practical advice as I can give is to listen closer to the words and the music you sing. Take notes during preaching. Take notes during preaching. Take notes during preaching. That helped me a lot. When you can go back into your Bible and you can go back into these CTX booklets and these conference booklets and a notebook that you have for sermons, and you can see, that's something I should get back to. That's a change that I didn't make, but I should definitely get back to that. Take notes. But as much practical advice as I could give you, oh, I lost it. Um, it doesn't matter if you neglect a real relationship with God. If he talks to you through his word and you talk to him through prayer. It's not until that relationship begins to grow that you'll feel the gratitude for salvation that so many hints are about or the desire to spread the gospel that so many more can bring. Third, once you recover, don't relapse. This is one of the principles in our room. I've seen a poster in room 211 almost every Sunday for the past year. Don't relapse. 1 Corinthians 16, 13 says, Watch ye stand fast in the faith. Quit ye like men, be strong. So Paul right here, he's finishing off his first letter to the Corinthian people. This is one of his final charges. To stand fast in the faith, not able to be moved by other people and their opinions or any harm that may befall them, and to quit like men. Quitting evil things and to quit quitting good things. So I like to think of the Christian life as a sort of plumb. Um, and this kind of, it's my illustration for my third point, but this goes very well with the rest of the message. So I want you to imagine a mountain, a very small mountain, or some of you contractors, a roof. Um, and there is ice on this roof or mountain, what have you. Um, here's the principle. When you're not moving forward, you're going to start sliding back. You need to keep taking the steps to get closer to God, or eventually you'll look up and you'll find yourself in the worst place to be in the Christian life. The worst place to be in the Christian life is looking up and saying, that's where I used to be. Getting closer to God and serving Him more uh, is what we need to do. We, we always need to be going forward or else we'll find ourselves falling stuck in the motions, sliding back on that slippery slope. So are you stuck? That's the first step. Recognize your condition. You can't cure cancer if you don't know you have it. Are you trying to get out? Because if you're not trying to get out, you're just going to stay stuck. you gotta, you got to take a step here. Um, if, you're, if you're not stuck, good on you. But what steps are you taking to ensure you don't get stuck? We need to be in a constant chase for a better relationship with God. And that's what's going to keep us from falling away and falling into the most. Thank you very much. Paul is coming up here. I will say that the team takeover builds some respect for Brother Jones and some of these teammates. Hey man, let's give all of our free.